Aye, Sofa Keen Trump K back again with yet another attempt at cider review. Cider I'm going to review just now is an Irish cider. No, it's not a Magnus. It's a uh, Druids and it's a uh, Celtic cider. 6% of Richter skill. Not pear. 100% apple. Well, this bad boy. Uh, Irish cider, as I said, from Dublin. 6%. I bought this recently, I was over uh, visiting uh, family in uh, Ireland and uh, I was looking for a side I've got over there called Devil's Bit which uh, I drank a couple of years ago in, uh, oops, I'm pouring away there I drank it a couple of years ago in Dublin a uh, wee hangover cure waiting one Sunday for the, the pubs to open if you've ever been to Dublin before you have to wait half past twelve it's absolutely shit for a pint on a Sunday but then again if you know Probably if you know the right pubs to go to, which I don't, I was a tourist. But anyway, I had four cans of Devil Bit and I quite liked them. It was a skanky cider. It was about 6% as well. So anyway, this one caught my eye. The Druids, Celtic. Here we go. There's a pour. Nice dark, dark copper colour about it. Really dark, nice dark side up. Let me slap there. As I say, you can see that. Nice and dark. So, anyway, go in here for the, the nose, see what I can come up with. Not picking a, a lot off of the nose. Got a faint apple. Bit of carbonation going up there in the glass, but it's, it's all about the taste beside them anyway. So, Slangy Var from Sofa King Drunk. Dive in here and see what the Druids Celtic uh, cider has to offer. Oh. Right away. That's got me well interested. That is what a cider to me should taste like. A nice f apple mouthful, and then you've got the bone, bone dry on the tongue. Your tongue's craving for more. And even even after you've swallowed the cider, your, your tongue's getting drier and drier and drier. It's just it's just waiting for the the next sip to go down, which it has to go down quite soon. Oh, beautiful. Really, really have a... Oh, yeah, definitely. That, that is beautiful dry bone cider. It, ciders to me, I've, I've tried a few different variations of uh, what medium sweets, your sweets and stuff like that, but my personal favourite is a really dry bone cider and that is dry bone. Uh, I, I think it's going to be hard for you guys uh, in the UK to get a hold of this, uh, I might be wrong, I've never seen it before, I picked it up, as I said, when I was visiting in Ireland uh, in June, uh, along with uh, another few different ciders, uh, the Druids Celtic, uh, that's, that is a must, absolute must, I'm going to put on the eye furniture here and read what it says on the can, it actually says, the Druids uh, Celtic Cider, this premium filled uh, flavoured cider has been inspired by the divine fruit of the ancient druids and captures the heart, the magic of apples harvested at the point of ripe perfection. 6% on the Richter scale. That is one that's going to put you on your backside if you drink it and you will try and session on that because it tastes so good. Uh, classic drink, absolute classic. I'd rate that just under my favourite cider, uh, widely available in the UK, is K-Cider. A lot of people don't like it because they're scared of the Richter scale. I urge use people to try it. This here has got the same sort of colouring as K-Cider, although it's 2.4 on the Richter scale lower than K. This is only 6%. Uh, but this is one, if you, if you ever go to Ireland, look this one out, this is classic. So anyway, I'm going to give...
Oh, try to get a bone. I'm going to give the Druids uh, Celtic Cider, 6% on the Richter scale. Because I like dry bone ciders, and that's what this is. I'm going to give that a 4.5 out of 5. So anyway, if you've drank the Celtic Brew, uh, the Celtic Cider, the Druids Celtic Cider, give us a shout. And if you've stayed along to the end of the video, slanji va, and I'll catch you again on another side of you. Ciao for now.